As we turn our minds off and go to sleep, we have quick moments of slowing down. This world is a fast paced world and getting overwhelmed and taking too much on is, it's a real thing. I have taken a tech approach to this and through trial and error with all types of apps, Things 3 is the one that works for me. What's up everyone, I'm back. A lot has changed since the last time I talked to you guys about my task management program, Things 3. And this was a highly requested video to make a part two on my channel so Here's my part two on how I use Things 3 in my everyday life. So first things first, you have to open the app. Things 3, here we go. You open it up and right away in your, you're in your today view. And I'm gonna go over seven things that I think are most important to me within this app. And those seven things are today, areas, projects, inbox, headings, checklists, and finally, widgets. So today is the view that you see the second you jump into the app. It's what you see on your home screen. It's where, it's where your tasks go for what you have on hand for the day. And for me, I have today three miles I have to run, my body weight workout, and to send in my payments for my Alaska credit card. That's my today view. Next up, we have areas. And areas are, as you see here, personal business finance. And these areas is what I like to call like categories. And within there, I have specific projects which I'll get into after this. But these areas are what I categorize things by, and I categorize everything with an emoji on the front end. Think of these areas as folders, and those folders are what you build subtasks under. Think of it that way. So when you go into each one, specific things live into personal, and these are these subtasks I'm talking about, and these are projects. So for example, I have inside of personal, I have wellness, workout, to-do list, grocery list, and a store list. Inside of business, I have my wallpaper project, my YouTube channel, video production, social media, emails, and my website. Under finances, I have taxes, transfers, subscriptions, credit cards, and bills. And under research, I have wish lists, skills to learn, movies and shows to watch, and finally, books to read. So as you can see, inside of each of these areas, the subtasks are these projects, and they're what live within these. Next up, we have the inbox. And the inbox is right here. And this is where I put all of my tasks I have to do. So let's say today I have to go to the bank. I put that in here and it's sitting in my inbox. So I have to do that, let's say tomorrow. I'd set the date for tomorrow's date. And just like that, it would be moved out to tomorrow. And that's where I sort everything is within this inbox. So I know that I can kind of just go to my phone right away if it's going to my phone and putting it in if it's going to my iPad and putting it in, if it's going to my MacBook and putting it in, or even my watch, and I can put it in, and right away I know that it lives within that inbox and I can go to it on whatever device I want and move it to the respective date, project, or area. And that's really how I ingest things throughout this app. Next up's headings, and headings is something that's deeper into this integration. And for example, if I go to research and wish list, right here I have a heading. I have tech as a heading, I have MacBook as a heading, I have, my, I have an iPhone as a heading and household. And within there you can kind of categorize within a project. So you have areas, projects, and headings. And then the part that makes this what it is is the checklist. I mean, it's so easy and it's so satisfying. You just check it and it disappears like that. And if you want to undo it, you just give it a shake, undo. But that's the checklist. And if you go to your logbook right here, you can see everything that's been checked off just so you can kind of go back and be like, oh yeah, I'm making progress. But let's go to the Today app one more time. And this is where you can get more customizable. You go to three miles and within here, you can set a time, add reminder, and say I want to do it at 11 a.m. Just like that, it will remind me at 11 a.m. And then within like the Alaska credit card, let's say, I can create subtasks within that. So example, I want to add a subtask right here and say, pay part one today. And just like that within there, I have a subtask that lives within there and it becomes just a checklist, just like that. I do that a lot for packing. I do that a lot when I have drop downs, I need lists. I do that a lot with groceries. It's very handy and it's very easy to stay organized from your phone to your iPad with being able to do that. And lastly, I wanna talk about widgets iOS 15 gave it to us, and I mean, iOS 16 will have it in the future, 
but widgets and being able to come over here and have it all right here. Have it all the eyesight right as you open up your iPad and unlock it. Being able to click it, have it highlight like that and know you have to cross that off. It's so easy and easy to see right at a glance what you have to get done and it makes doing things and it makes that list a lot easier. So that's the power of using task management with Things 3. And this is part two. You guys wanted part two, so here's part two. Thanks for all the support. I appreciate it so much. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button. You guys are the reason I make these videos. And it would be really helpful if we get this channel to a thousand subscribers by the end of the month. So thanks for everything and I'll see you guys in the next video.